everybody, Tim Norris here, or you could call me Gray Elephant. And I'm Carmen Norris. And welcome to a Kickstarter preview by Gray Elephant Gaming. Now today we're going to be taking a look at Dumpster Brawl. Now there are two different ways of playing, and we're going to show you both of these modes in the video. Alright, so here is the setup for Dumpster Brawl. Now this is one of the two basic styles that you can play the game. Uh, so basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to collect sets of trash. And uh, this card here tells us exactly the trash cards that are located in the deck, okay? And then they get their little names and their symbols located there. Now, the first person to collect three sets of three wins the game, basically. But it's a little trickier than that, right, Carmen? Well, first of all, you have to have your affinity in your... One of your sets has to be your affinity, which in my case is a coffee cup. And in that case, I only have to collect two rather than three. So I have to have one set of two coffee cups and then two sets of three in order to win the game. And then you also have to make sure that you discard all other cards out of your hand. Correct. And you're not allowed to lay down until you have all of your sets. Now, keep in mind, I'll repeat it one more time, it takes three sets of three to be able to win this game. However, for the sake of the live play, uh, we are going to just reduce that down to three sets of two. That way you can still get a good feel for the game, but yet, you know, it may not take as long to film. So, here's what we're going to do right off the bat. Now, I will be first player, so the first thing I can do is I can draw uh, two cards off the top of the deck. Now, if, I, if there was a discard pile, I could also take cards out of there as well. Well, there is no discard pile. You can choose to draw um, zero, one, or two cards. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll pick up all the attack dice. Carmen will take the defense dice. I will roll those. And I am looking for swords. So I have two swords. Wow, she defended big time. So because she whooped me and I did not get enough swords and she actually exceeded my sword count, that means she can take two cards out of my hand and add them to her own. And that would basically then end my turn. So it would go with Carmen now. Now she can uh, take two cards off of the top of the deck. And now she will be the attacker, and I will be the defender. Which, if we had and more I players, five. I would be choosing who I was attacking. <laughs> and I rolled five shields. <laughs> okay, so, that's unusual. <laughs> yeah, it is. So I will take two cards back. Thank you very much. Okay. I think I took the two you took from me. Um, so that would then end her turn. So I'm sure at one point in time the attacker is going to get an attack through. So I will draw two cards. And now I will attack Carmen. So... There we go, I got four swords. And you did roll four <laughs> shields, so... Four shields, sorry. She, she still tied me, so that means she can take two of my cards back. This is this is going back and forth, back and forth, ain't it? So, all right, so now she will be the attacker and I'll be the defender. So she draws two cards. If I want two cards, maybe I don't. Uh, maybe you don't, because uh, you got to keep in mind, you don't necessarily want all a bunch of extra cards yep. in your hand uh, so that you could try to win the game. Because uh, they just clog up your okay. deck. So, all right. I'm going so to attack you. I rolled four shields, and you rolled two swords. Two so swords. Once again, defender has one, which all this right. is crazy because the defense and the attack are exact same, and uh, I just can't believe that we keep rolling that. That's crazy. Okay. So I will uh, draw two cards. Okay. One more. All right. And now I will attack. So I rolled four swords. Seriously? No way! Four shields. Wow! Okay. Go ahead and take two cards. Okay. Uh, it just keeps going back and forth the exact same. I mean, I, I, we have never played a game that has went this way. That is just absolutely okay, crazy. Okay, this is weird. All okay. right, so once again, you are the attacker. So draw two I cards. I am the attacker. Or one to two cards. I'm thinking that I might discard instead. Okay. So I'm going to discard two cards. All right. And, and then I roll, roll my attack, attack die. Right. And I roll four shields. And you rolled four swords, so once again, the defender oh, has no. one wow. again, which means you just now thinned your hand down, which means now I've got a chance that I'm going to probably take the cards that she wanted, which I know I did because she wanted that coffee cup. So, uh, But she may have another coffee cup. Who knows, okay. right? All right, so um, now both of us can check to see if one of us has a, a winning condition, condition, which neither one of us... I know I don't, unfortunately. Okay. So what I will do first is I am going to discard. So I'm going to discard this one, 
and I am going to discard this one. Now I will roll the attack dice. All right, three swords. Seriously, come on. Yes! Look at that. The attack Finally! went through. Okay. Wow. So now I get the option of taking cards out of her hand. I don't really want to. What I'd rather do is just roll the dice. You would take one card. Uh, which I would take or one card. Or give me one card. You want to give me a card? Um, yeah, I might as well just give you a card. So I will give you this All one right, right there. Have some cabbage. Okay, so now what I do is I have the option I can roll these dice. For every positive, I could draw cards for every one of these swords. So the, the shields would be a positive, the swords would be a negative. The swords would let me discard onto here, the shields would let me draw from here, alright? Well, I don't really need to, because I do have my two tin cans, because I have one for my infinity and I have one there. I have two teddy bears and I have two coffee cups. So keep in mind, for the real winning condition, it would be three of each one of these Two, two uh, tin cans plus my infinity, three stuffed bears, and three coffee cups. But for the sake of just trying to get this live play up and moving. And I still had my coffee, I had two coffee cups, but I just couldn't get pairs of anything else. <laughs> okay. So that is the uh, basic uh, setup game. And now what we're going to do is we're going to show you another way that you could possibly play this game, which is kind of like a King of Tokyo kind of feel to it. So we'll turn the camera off, and when we come back, we'll have that set up and ready for you. Okay, now we have King of the Heap, in which case we're going to have the start players start out in the middle of the table, and the players are going to take turns attacking them. Only the king is allowed to go through the trash heap in order to collect what they need, and only the king is going to be defending. So everyone's going to be attacking the king. Same victory conditions, which is three sets of three, with your affinity uh, counting as one, and you must have that one in your hand. And discard all other cards. Yep. So what we're going to do is, uh, first off, it goes to the player to the left. That would immediately attack. So Ellie Mae is going to be attacked by Iskataru. So he rolls his attack dice, and I rolled one sword. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Ellie Mae has defended. <laughs> these these attack dice are, are <laughs> <laughs> weighted. So because she has successfully defended as the king, she's going to roll the six dice. Uh, and look, uh, let's see, we've got two pluses, so she's going to be able to get two cards off of the heap. Oh, and she's drawn a blocker. So the blocker says roll six dice. You need to roll an equal number of swords or more uh, in order to win. So I will roll these dice. Keep hey, in mind. Why don't you roll the blue ones instead? Uh, yeah, because that's I'm still in the middle of doing these. So I have successfully rolled more than three swords, so I win. Win. Draw or discard one extra card. Okay, I think I'll choose to draw an extra card. Now if I would have lost, I would have had to discard two random cards and then my turn would end. But now I'm going to continue drawing. So I've drawn my two cards for the plus symbols. Now I can discard four cards if I wish, which... I don't think I'm to that point yet, so I'm not going to discard any. Okay. And that's it. So now the, it would go around then, then the next player would attempt to attack as well. So Felipe is going to attack. LMA. You only roll five. You got six there. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, there rolled five swords. Did it finally happen? Yes, Look at it that. Did. The attacker won. So now hey. the attacker will take the spot of Tokyo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or the center of the table. And now he will be able to go through the dumpster. So he rolls the dice. And he does have one, two, three positive and three negative. Or uh, three negative. So uh, he needs to have ten cans to be able to win. So we will draw one. <clears throat> we will draw two. Uh, and uh, we're going to discard one face down as well. Um, in fact, yeah, we'll just discard just one and then draw another. So that was my three draws and one discard. Now I've got two discards left. Um, I will discard. I will not discard anymore. I will okay. move on to the other. So, all right. So now it goes Ray to here. Ray B. Ratafeller is going to attack. And he will defend. Bay. And he's rolled two shields. And unfortunately, that's not going to be enough, is it? I rolled three swords, so, so... He's been knocked out of the center. I am now the king of the heap. So you roll the so red I'm dice. Roll these, see what happens. Oh, look at all them swords. Okay, so I get three draws, and I'm going to get my cards here. 
So as you can tell, this is this would not be for two players. You need to have more than two players for this variant. And three discards. Mm -hmm. I don't really think he's ready to discard right yet. So let's so hold there. I will roll the defending or the uh, attacking dice for her. For Ellie May. And then okay. you roll the defending. So I've got two attack, and you've got three shields. So he has successfully defended. So he gets to roll the dice, or she gets to roll the dice again, because she stays in oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's a girl. Mm -hmm. uh, a girl! Ray rat. is a girl. <laughs> okay. All right, so... She gets to draw four and discard two. All right, let's see what I get here. And like we said, it would be the same victory conditions and the fact that you do need to collect three sets of three to be able to win. And one of them, in this case, needs to be a coffee cup. Mm -hmm. And now you can discard two cards if you like as well. And don't forget, you can draw from here. I'm sure that's a good card. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it is. Wow. Okay, I will discard this and this. All right. So now the dumpster, or I'm sorry, uh, is. Karatushu will attack. I, I, yeah, uh -huh. I scratch you. It scratch you. So only, I scratch you. I scratch you. Ha, ha, oh, ha, ha. that's Look clever. At that. Okay. Uh, just two swords. So you defended. So here All you right. go. Roll so the I dice. So I get to do this again. Come on, Ray's gonna win. I'm gonna win. All right. So I get to draw two and discard four. That'd be correct. My goodness, if I could just get that stupid coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you might. You might. Here's one. Oh, you no. get to draw another one. Oh. No? No. Oh. You get the discard cards. You got to discard down because otherwise you're going to... Discard. Yeah. Shoot. You can discard three more if you choose. Tough decisions now, huh? All right. Okay. So... Felipe McKenzie now will attack. And just, I wanted to make a note. I had a slug card in my mm -hmm. hand. If that was still in my hand at the end of the game, I wouldn't be able to win. It's a useless card. So I, I just got rid of that. Just right. now I'm discarding it. So. All right. So okay. Felipe. Oh, five, six swords. I'm oh, pretty confident. No. Bam, bam, Felipe bam. Felipe took Ray's place in there. He's got that hockey stick. He just like smacked her over the head with it. So, all right. He's going to roll them bones. And uh, he could draw four. So, let's see. Felipe will draw one. He will draw two. He will... Oh, man. These are not very good. Because I know that's a slug now. Draw three. <laughs> And he will draw a fourth. And now it's a time to start discarding cards. So I can discard two. We're going to discard one and two. There we go. Now he goes again. And uh, he will be attacked by her. And we'll see if he can defend. And he did roll four shields. Uh, so that no. is a successful defense if I see correctly. So he gets to roll again to see if he can draw more cards. Oh, uh -oh. whoa, that's good that's and not bad. That's not necessarily a good thing. No, <laughs> no. So draw one. Oh man, draw two. Um, draw three. This isn't good. This isn't good. I really, I can't get the card I need. Draw mm -hmm. four. There it is. Okay. So I am not drawing any more cards. Unfortunately, he can't discard any cards because he didn't roll any swords. Now, Ellie May is going to attack the king of the heap. Three shields. And he did defend. He defended again. Okay. Fantastic. So, so I need dice. swords now. I get Five swords. swords. And one, two, three swords. Okay. So I will get rid of one, two, and three. <laughs> all right, so he's really, really, really close to winning okay. this. I got all the cards in my hand I need. So I'm going to roll for I scratch you. Okay. And I roll two shields. I rolled two swords, so you defend. Yes, me. all right. So there's your dice. So it's about rolling swords here. And oh, this oh, will be sweet. game. So okay. one. So let me just, I'll just toss them down because there's no way I can lose. 
And then that would be the three sets that I was saying, because normally you need three sets of three, don't forget that, okay? But I do have, because uh, we're just playing a quick abbreviated version of it, but I've got my tin can here, so I match that, I got apples, and I got takeout Chinese food. So Philip McKenzie, the hockey playing moose, King won the game. Of the heat. Yes, he is. All right, so that is the game. That is both the uh, modes that you could play. And how in the world did you decipher that that is I scratch you? That was really that's it's, pretty good. I don't know. I used to do those little quizzes in school all the time where they. I, know, for the life of I me, I did not you. see I scratch you on that, but now I cannot yes. unsee it. That was pretty and, good. That's funny. Once the camera turns on, the dice behave completely differently than they were for the rest oh of the Oh my ways. God, we have never defended that I many know. times. <laughs> I was like, is it an attack ever going to go through? Yeah. Uh, so we showed you guys the blocker cards. So when you draw those off, basically your turn stops immediately. So you cannot draw any more cards or anything until you are able to overcome that blocker card. And if you fail, then typically there's a penalty. If you succeed, then it typically will add to what you're already able to uh, maybe draw or discard. Right, and then there's also booster cards, which they're mm -hmm. going to uh, go into your hand immediately, and then you can play them whenever you get an opportunity, but you cannot win the game with those in your hand. Right, and then like with the slugs, so we have the slugs, slugs just clog up your hand. They're like waste cards, junk, wounds, anything like with a deck builder style game. Cards you just do not want. Um, the boosters typically will help you in a fight, so it lets you like reroll dice, etc. And then the blockers just, they stop you, you know, and you have to overcome it, and then, like I said, uh, have... You if you do overcome it, then great. But if you don't, then it's your turn. Exactly. <laughs> so um, there's several different characters you guys can choose from. We had two others here. We have this guy that we didn't uh, play with. And then we also have, like, um, what is this, Rocket Raccoon? <laughs> but he's got a golf club. He looks pretty mean with it, too. Rainbow but, uh, Hooligan. I love the artwork on these little characters. It looks really great. Yeah, it's um, really inventive. So, you know, there, there's different modes that um, possibly are going to come out of different styles. You can play with this, and I'm sure if you go check out the Kickstarter link, which is right here, pink, 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 you're going to be able to check that out for yourself. And um, and also, um, I just thought I would mention that we do have upgraded cardstock as an option for the Kickstarter, uh, you know, a stretch goal. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in that in better quality, then that mm -hmm. is coming. Exactly. So, anyways, like I said, the Kickstarter link is right here. Click on that, and you can find out more information for yourself. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.